Hello, Timmy, you little dandy. You will be the belle of the ball when I'm through with you. Mm. Hold it. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Did you slide down a rainbow? Where are you going in such a hurry? I'm late for acting class. I thought you were a waiter. No, that's just a part-time job. I'm really a serious actor. Okay, it's the Penny and Pakistan and the Boat Jammer with Dill Aioli. Uh, this isn't what we ordered. Honey, don't. It's no, no, I'm sorry. This is an expensive restaurant and I want... Oh, fresh rack pepper? No, 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 no. We had the chicken piccata and the prime rib. This is all wrong. Fresh rack pepper? Yes, please. Thanks. Say when. Okay, when. When. When? Just say when. When? Just, just say it louder. I, what? I am saying it louder. When? I mean, I'm good at being a waiter, but it's not what I want to do long term. I just need a break. Only then? What? It's my agent. I have an audition for DSI! That's great! Yes! Yeah, that's awesome! I gotta prepare. I gotta prepare. I need the perfect monologue. We're making an awfully good thing. You want the truth? You can't handle the truth! Mrs. Robinson, are you trying to seduce me? Are you trying to seduce me, Mrs. Robinson? Up there, it's their time, but down here, this is our time! This is for the Goonies! I got to think of what's on the thumb. I ate a liver with some bubble bean. And a nice young thing. <laughs> ah! Damn it! Can't find the perfect monologue. What the hell is that? That is a she, and her name is Sheila. She's a dandy. <laughs> you playing with dolls? I collect and sell dolls. And yes, I sometimes play with them. Let's get you ready for the regatta. Oh, Nantucket, here we come. Oh, darn this watch. You're a genius. Can I borrow your watch? Michael? 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 Not me. I prepared a monologue for you. Uh, th there's really no need for that. Michael, excuse me, Michael. No, Michael, My excuse me. Hello, little ma'am. Got something for you. Then what? Was first purchased by your great grandfather during the First World War. It was his war watch, and his watch was on your daddy's wrist when he shot down over Hanoi. And he be down. And Benny Thorpe were gonna get the greasy yellow hand on his boy's birthright. So he in it. And the only place he knew he could is that. Now, little man, well, I give the watch to you. Not the thing. That was great! But you know you're here for the part of the cadaver, right? What? Cadaver. What? The part of the cadaver? Okay. I'll go. I can come back tomorrow. Okay, thank you. Awesome. Thank you, Michael. Thanks. Great. Nailed it.